Good evening, guys, and welcome to the Affairs of Two Needles. I am Jody, and I'm going to be your hostess tonight in anything crochet related. We're going to talk about crochet, um, projects that I started. Um, we're going to talk about this channel, too. I hope everyone is doing well. I am much better. I think the last time I did a video, I was not feeling good. I was sick. Um, which laid me out a week, out of work for almost a week, which I didn't mind the time off, but it would have been nice if I, if it was a vacation or something, that was no vacation. Um, but I did get some things done. Um, I got a project that I was working on, I got that done. I don't know if you remember in the last episode um, that I was going to go ahead and crochet a sweater while I got that done. Um, I had a lot of time to do it. And now I'm starting a poncho, so I'll go ahead and let you see that then. Um, how's everyone doing? I hope you're staying well. Um, I hope you're staying warm, and those of you that are warm, I hope you're finding a way to be cool. This weather's crazy lately. So anyway, what's new? Well, my grandson was born. I was really excited to see that. He's now three and a half weeks, so he's really looking he looks just like my son my oldest son when he was born he's so adorable and so cute um, so I'm so happy and proud with that he has a lot of crocheted little hats a lot of crocheted blankets he's just too adorable I had to wait though because I was sick so I had to wait until I was not sick in order for him to come and visit so I was really proud and happy when I did get to see him. If you notice, my channel is a little bit strange. That is due to my mistake. Um, it's my original, um, The Affairs of Two Needles, I actually accidentally deleted out. So I had, thank goodness, I had my other channel, Love Doing Our Own Thing, and I just went ahead and switched everything over to that channel and downloaded all my old videos from the original The Affairs of Two Needles on to Love Doing Our Own Thing. So this is the channel that we will be having, even though it says Love Doing Our Own Thing, it's probably confusing. Um, I now have to start from scratch again. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Please subscribe, um, please like, please share my videos. Um, I would appreciate it. Um, I was just trying to combine the two channels together. Unfortunately, I didn't do it correctly and I deleted out the one channel that I did not want to delete out. So I learned my lesson. I think the next time I will find somebody that's more, has a little bit more um, technical ability in the computer. Um, you know, in the computer field that I'll let go ahead and deal with that. So, now what's, I hope everybody's um, out there crocheting away or cooking away or doing some kind of fun adventure and staying healthy. So tonight I wanna show you a few things that I started, some things that I finished, but I'm gonna, I don't know if you remember in the last video that I did, um, the one where I showed my new crochet needles, which I absolutely love. Those um, Yarnus crochet needles that I got off of Amazon are phenomenal. Um, they're really comfortable in the hand. Um, they don't, the yarn doesn't get stuck in the hook um, where, you know, most of the yarns that, and most of the hooks that you get, sometimes the yarns get stuck in the, in the tip of the hook, hook. That drives me crazy. But this, this doesn't. So I really, really love these needles. In fact, I'm gonna show you a project then that I'm working with one of those needles. And it's just, it just glides like butter. So I'll show you that in a little bit. But I'm gonna show you the first project that I started. I don't know if you remember in the last video that I did, and I probably keep saying this over and over again. But remember when I said that I wanted to start a, a sweater or a cardigan for myself? Well, I did, and I got it finished. So that week that I was out of work for not feeling good, that's when I did a lot of my crocheting. I'm going to show you that right now. It's really pretty. So this is the yarn. I used the funnel cake, carry-on funnel cake yarn with this. And this one, I think, was, I think it was a Mary Maxim yarn that I got a while back. And it's the cotton yarn. 
um, it's the spring essentials but I liked it and I like working with this yarn it was the dandelion yarn I don't know if you remember seeing it anyway I used two and a half uh, um, skeins of these so and it went really well but this is um the sweater's done in two pieces and I just now got it done I didn't make it long sleeve because I didn't really want to I just basically made it short sleeve um, and I figure you can probably wear a top or something underneath it but this is the sweater I made it big and baggy and roomy um, and the pattern basically was very very easy this is the sleeves I made it like a real flowy sleeve here and then the boat neck here so it was really easy to make it's done in two pieces and I started out on the bottom with just the ribbing the sweater ribbing I don't know if you can see that or not can you see that and I just did basically it's really easy I think I might do a tutorial on this um, there's a lot of people out there that have tutorials um, actually I just used a little bit of my own you know my own technique with this all it is is just half double double crochet um, that's all it is so really nice I made it nice big and roomy I don't, I'm not sure who I'm gonna give this to I tried in one it's a little bit too small for me um, just around the top area otherwise I would keep it but the dandelion yarn was really nice to work with this so what I did is I went ahead and I just crocheted I think there was I think I did 40 across of the ribbing in sets of nine and then of course you half double crochet in the back loop so you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and chain I actually chained 10 no I chained 12 that's what I did I chained 12 and then I I went ahead and I did half double crochet across then the next row you're going to go ahead and half double crochet in the back loop so each row then after that you're going to do that and I think there's 40 some rows here so but then you can get it you know just measure it I measured it around my waist I took the yarn and measured it around the waist and that's where I crocheted up to um, you can use measuring tape if you want and then I just did each panel so after I was done with this I think there was 82 chains here once I got done with the ribbing I went ahead then and did a single crochet all the way across and I think there was 82 so that's how I started up the back then there's 82 stitches all the way up the back so the whole back had 82 stitches across and then you can make it as long as you like this is sort of short comes right up to the waist then I did the same with the front panel with this sweater it was easy to do I might do a tutorial on that really easy to be done in two pieces um, half double crochets um, the ribbing was counted at 42 I believe and then um, working from the ribbing up was 82 stitches so and then I can show you the rest I can show you when I do a tutorial on that I think the 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 yarn is hand is uh, machine washable and dry so I think it looks nice it turned out really good so in the dandy line and that was using one of those new crochet hooks that I got so the second one I'm going to show you that I just started tonight I wanted to make a shawl and the yarn that I'm using does not have a um, color on it it didn't have a tag on it so I have no cl clue what color I'm using all I know it's a real thin yarn it's a shawl yarn so I'm using a big needle and I think what I'm gonna do this is what I just started it tonight so basically now I don't even know how many I chained I know I chained a lot <laughs> but I'm gonna say that's probably about a good hundred about a good hundred chains here and then I'm just single crocheting all the way across and I'm using a size seven crochet hook this is actually a Tunisian crochet hook because what I'm going to do with this one I think is I'm going to go ahead and crochet the bottom and then do the Tunisian crochet all the way on the top up so I think that's how I'm going to do this one 
um, but we'll wait and see. I always like to change my mind. But this is the yarn that I'm using, and it didn't really come with a tag, so I, guys, I apologize. I don't know. That looks like maybe a one or a two weight. I don't know what the color is, um, or if, the, if, if it's even machine washable. I would think that it is. So it's really nice and silky. It's nice. It's probably like a cotton. So it's really nice to work with. I'll have to see if I can find one like it in my yarn stash over there <laughs> that if I do find one, I can go ahead and put in the description what kind of yarn it was. But that's one I just started tonight that I'm working on. The other one, this is the one that I've been working on. This one I'm gonna love and this one I'm making for myself. So I am doing a poncho right now and I'm doing this to show you here I don't want to lose my place so let me go ahead put my needle in there so basically this one here is done all in double crochets um, no half double crochets it's done on all double crochets and it's a poncho that I'm making it's done in remember the Kramer um, yarn haul I got way back when I'm using the dark blue wool on the top and then the light blue is the mohair so I have that in there so I'm using really using two strands if you can see that I'm using I combine the mohair and then the wool together and it's not bad working when I first started it when I first chained it um, it was bad working it was you know getting tangled up but now it's not I have it I have it pretty well situated but basically you're going to do the round you're going to go ahead and crochet in the round um, the chain in the round I think I did about was it 80 in the round and then I just went ahead once you get it in the round um, what did I do did I double crochet that I did I double crocheted the collar in the round and then after that I added I think I did two rows of that and then I started adding the mohair and all that is is double crochet all the way around really pretty now there is a vein going down through here I don't know if you can see it or not this is one of the new crochet needles that I got the Yardis but I don't know if you can see it right here that's where you're going to go ahead and increase you see it right in through here you're going to increase every other round so I went ahead on the tip is you're going to go ahead and increase every other round and I think I might do a tutorial on this one too but it's so pretty and it's coming along really good really quickly really fast um, we'll see how it turns out um, I really like working with this yarn with this wool and the mohair and I know it's going to be really warm it's really heavy but I just love the colors in it I really honestly didn't think I was going to but I really do like it it's fast <clears throat> what size needle am I using you ask I am using a J needle so that's what I'm using for this project here usually the J's are what I usually go for I don't know why I just like working with the J needles but that's what I'm working with. I don't think I have anything, any other projects started. Oh, I did the Ohio State Afghan that I started. I went ahead and I know it was such, it's, it was a long process. I got a little bit far on that, but not too far. But it was huge. It was really way too big for me to handle. So I went ahead and ripped some of it out. And then I started a new pattern with that. Um, my niece is getting married in um, yeah my niece is getting married in June so I'm hoping to have the tree of life one done before before that date too so that's about all I have for you this is probably going to be a short video but I just wanted to hop on here and say hi it's been a while since I put a video out and show you some of the projects that I started and that some of the projects that um, I got done and then tell you, of course, my confusing story 
of trying to combine two channels together and delete it out. And it probably didn't make any sense to you. I apologize, but if anybody is on here um, and runs across my channel and sees that there is old videos on a new channel, that's the reason. It's because I deleted out my um, original love doing or um, the affairs of two needles by accident I didn't mean to do it so thank heavens I had everything saved and I could download some of the some of them um, onto the love doing our own thing it's no longer called love doing our own thing it's still called the affairs of two needles but I have formally love doing our own thing on there so I really hope that you guys like my content and my videos um, if you haven't already please subscribe please share and please like and also turn on that notification bell so that when I do put a video out you will see that I have one out um, also have a great week be blessed and I will see you probably the end of this week I will do another video for you so have a great evening guys see you soon love ya